The strength of acids and bases depends on one thing, and that is the extent of ionization when placed in water. Weak means, in the context of acids and bases, that the substance ionizes only to a limited extent in water. That is, the equilibrium lies far to the reactant side. Here's an example of a weak acid, hypochlorous acid. When placed in water, will ionize to a limited extent to give the hydronium ion plus the hypochlorite anion. Now I've crossed off here purposefully the proton. Sometimes when we represent an acid um, disassociating or ionizing in water, we express it as the proton being present in water. But really a better description of that is the hydronium ion because water does accept the proton from the acid hypochlorous acid. So that's you know, when a chemist sees H plus aqueous, we assume hydronium. So I'll normally write out the hydronium ion in these expressions. Okay, so because it's a weak acid and it only ionizes to a limited extent before it comes to equilibrium, this equilibrium condition can be expressed with the equilibrium expression Ka. And an A is placed next to the K to indicate that it's the equilibrium constant for a weak acid. And we can write out the expression for the equilibrium constant, it is the hydronium ion concentration times the hypochlorite, the anion of the acid that is, um, concentration divided by the concentration of the um, protonated form of the acid, hypochloric, hypochlorous acid. The same thing is true for a weak base. Here's a common weak base, ammonia. When placed in water, it ionizes to a limited extent to produce the ammonium ion and the hot hydroxide anion. And because a base is a proton acceptor, the proton here is being accepted from the water. And so the equilibrium constant is expressed as Kb, which indicates the equilibrium constant for a weak base. The B stands for base. And you write it in this way, the ammonium ion times the hydroxide anion concentration divided by the concentration of the ammonia the weak base. So this is how we express um, and how we determine the concentration of all the species in water um, when a weak acid or a weak base is placed in water. So um, for example, Ka for hypochlorous acid is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 8. 3.5. It's a very small number, so the equilibrium lies far uh, to the left. And for the ammonia, the Kb for ammonia is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Again, the equilibrium lies far to the left for these weak acids and weak bases. These um, equilibrium constants can be found in an appendix 5 in the back of your book or from um, online. Now, we're not going to memorize all of the uh, names of the weak acids and weak bases, but you should be able to recognize that the weak bases are often um, carboxylic acids, which in a carboxylic acid is a functional group um, that it looks like this, or an oxy acid. And an oxy acid is when you have a nonmetal bound to an oxygen bound to a hydrogen. So the acidic hydrogen, in the case of the carboxylic acid, is this hydrogen, and the acidic acid in the case, excuse me, the acidic uh, hydrogen. In the case of the oxy acid, is the hydrogen bound to the oxygen. So some common um, names of a carboxylic acid is acetic acid, formic acid, benzoic acid. They all have the um, carboxylic acid functional group. Some common names of um, oxy acids, nitrous, chlorous, hypochlorous acid. They'll have the nonmetal, um, and, and I'm just going to um, abbreviate the nonmetal X, um, hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and then the, um, there's even some hydro acids that are weak acids, uh, hydrofluoric, hydrogen, and some nonmetal or nonmetal um, uh, polyatomic anion, hydrocyanic acid, okay? So you'll need to be familiar with these, but not necessarily um, memorize the formulas for all of these. Just recognize that they're not strong acids. And then the weak bases um, are typically derivatives of ammonia. So you should memorize the formula for ammonia. I think you probably already know it, NH3. And then derivatives, meaning that the hydrogen's been replaced with some other um, side chain, in this case, tri 
methylamine, three methyl groups attached to a nitrogen, etc., etc. You can see the various forms of the weak acid. So you should familiarize yourself with these um, uh, common uh, weak acids, but you're held to memorizing the strong acids and strong bases.